Hey everyone, get excited. We have three free crossplay games that are coming out this year. Now, I haven't been lucky enough to get into their play tests yet, and I've been trying since the beginning of this year, but it's still not too late before they drop. Regardless, if you want to keep up to date with these games, I'm going to have all the links down in the description to each of their websites so you can sign up to their mailing list and sign up for their play tests. And so coming in at our number three spot, we have Kart Rider Drift. Now, Kart Rider Drift seems to take right after Mario Kart. I'm not saying it's a knockoff or anything, but uh, but it seems to take right after Mario Kart in all the play style. I'm sure the items will be a little different and affect you differently. Um, maybe the driving is a little different. But overall, this game looks like it's going to be the free cross-play version of Mario Kart that will be available on Xbox, PlayStation, as well as PC. As of right now, there's no actual set-in-stone release date that I could find, but it is coming out rumored 2022. So fingers crossed. And coming in at our number two spot, we have Multiverses. Again, another game that seems to be taking away from something popular, and that would be Super Smash Brothers. Now, this game is gonna be a bit duo-based. It seems like you're gonna mainly pair up with another teammate versus other people online. I'm not sure if there's any story mode or anything like that, but again, free cross-play going to be on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And this game seems pretty cool overall. It's got Warner Brothers licensing deals. So anything from Cartoon Network and Scooby-Doo to DC with Batman and Superman and a lot of other characters. I'm sure they'll even be releasing more as time goes on. Now, Multiverses does have an open beta test coming in July. So sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Now coming in at our number one spot is Rumbleverse. Now this is made by Epic. And if you take a close look, it seems to take after another popular game being Fortnite in its cartoony style and its open world battle royale format. Now the difference here being this will be melee based. They may have some longer range weapons in the game, I'd imagine, um, or throwable items, but this is mainly up close and personal combat or melee style, kind of like Super Smash Brothers, but again, in an open world battle royale format. Good news, if you're actually excited about Rumbleverse, this game is gonna have an open play test tomorrow. So if you're watching this video the day it came out, Friday, June 10th, Rumbleverse has an open play test tomorrow, Saturday, June 11th. So if you have a PlayStation, an Xbox, a PC, go and search Rumbleverse and preload the game and jump in for the few hours it's available tomorrow. And last but not least, I do have a bonus honorable mention, and that game is Brawler's Tavern. And this game, Brawler's Tavern, seems to take after Zelda Link to the Past for Super Nintendo. Age check. Now, it definitely has that retro nostalgic vibe, but don't let the surface fool you. This game is highly competitive. It has something for everybody, in my opinion. You can chat with others right in game. You can use in-game emojis to communicate and express how you're feeling. You can play events with others, such as capture the flag, or you can do 1v1 ranked arena brawls for points and special items. And one cool thing about this game is it's browser-based. You're actually able to play it on your PC, on a tablet, or on a phone. And depending on your play style, you can actually play this game on your keyboard, controller, or even on touchscreen. They do hold tournaments weekly for events and ranked brawls, and these tournaments and events are generally streamed once a week on Twitch. So again, check that out, brawlerstavern.com, click that Brawl Now button, jump right in. You can do it on any browser-based device, and you can use, like I said, any input from touch, keyboard, or controller. I have a lot of hopes for this game. Once they start rolling out the open world and quests, I think there's gonna be a lot to offer on top of what they've already built. So far, the core mechanics are really solid in this game, especially for the highly competitive aspect. So with all that being said, please leave a comment down below and tell me which of these games you're looking forward to most. Again, all these links will be down in the description in case you want to keep up with them or if you want to sign up for their mailing lists or their play tests. And so if you like this content, please don't forget to like this video too. And don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so you get notifications as soon as the next video comes out. Thank you all for all the support. And uh, I think that's it. We'll see you next time.